What's up, guys? I'm Kenny from Upscale Lures, and this is the F3 show number 43, where I take my first Fishing Friday newsletter and I turn it into video format so I can put it on YouTube and share it with you guys. Let's get started. Section number one is the video pick of the month. Uh, Robbie Doctor from Montana has caught the new state record brown trout. It came in at 42 pounds, four, uh, excuse me, 32.43 pounds, uh, and that the previous record from was from 1966, so that thing held for decades. And uh, finally, here we go. In 2021, uh, we we got it. We got the previous record beat by three pounds. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, if you guys are interested, you guys, I got some video playing right here. But if you guys want to check out the full video, I'll leave them in the link description uh, below. Um, and what I did notice. Um, I caught a 20 pound brown, this was years ago, um, on Lake Michigan, and it had way bigger spots. Um, and then his, you know, they got just smaller little spots. So I don't know if that's different species or different part of the state or country, actually. So, yeah, kind of interesting just seeing how, how they vary. And uh, I don't know, yeah, it could be just, could it be f water conditions, different species? I'm not sure, but kind of find that interesting. So, like I said again, if you guys are interested, you guys can check out the links in below. I got two videos that'll give you a little bit more information. Section number two, it is fishing news of the month. I'm pretty excited about this one. I don't know, whatever it is, it, it, it always interests me. Uh, it is the world's first 100% recycled mono, monofilament fishing line. Uh, Suffix, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, it's owned by Rapala, has came up with a uh, recycled fishing line pretty awesome even the spool is made from recycled plastic and the packaging is made out of recycled material um, I'm gonna go into the actual article and uh, this is from anglinginternational.com uh, if I say this correctly uh, econol e-c-o-n-y-l is already used quite extensively in the fashion industry It is 100 percent regenerated nylon that's made from a combination of waste products such as fishing nets pulled straight out of the ocean as well as industrial waste nylon and post-consumer nylon um so yeah it sounds like they have probably quite the supply of it um if they got uh, fishing nets i'm sure that's a constant thing and then industrial waste which I'm sure we have plenty of that going on. So yeah, I'm sure they have quite the supply uh, to keep this thing running. Um, and then I think is how to pronounce this. I'm probably going to say this wrong. Uh, Tanelli, T-A-N-E-L-Y. Uh, Tanelli, pretty sure that's how you say it. Uh, Rapala's research and sustainability manager has told Angling International uh, recycle line monofilament took two years to develop and is a great example of our concrete effort in becoming more sustainable our focus towards optimizing production and product materials is one of the cornerstones of the group's sustainability strategy this is something that anglers can really get their hands on uh, great high quality products that are produced in an environmentally friendly manner while the raw materials that support our efforts to provide great outdoor experiences in a greener environment. Whew. All right. I think that's pretty awesome that it seems like more companies are kind of steering in that direction. Um, I mean, if you can do it, why not do it? Use, use materials over again, you know, recycle them, upcycle them, whatever that's called. And, uh, you know, if we can make this into a sustainable uh, I guess you could say economical thing. Why not do it? Why not do it? So you're using um, uh, materials that otherwise would be thrown away, discarded. Uh, why not? Why not reuse them? I think that's super neat, and uh, I, I think more companies should be doing this. As as actually I am as well, working on some using some recycled recycled material. I did uh, message uh, Tanelli. I think that's how you say his name. Sorry if I'm saying this wrong. Um, but uh, I was wondering when I could get my hands on this. And he was saying, he's actually, he's from Finland. And I think that's where Rapala was, that's the homeland, right? I'm pretty sure that's Finland. 
and he was saying that there's not a planned re release date yet for the United States, um, but it'll definitely be coming. So that's you know super exciting. Would be super, uh, super ecstatic just to try this stuff out. I mean, it's the first ever complete 100%. <clears throat> recycled uh, monofilament line. So definitely will be excited to get my hands on this and be testing this out. Um, and if you guys are interested in uh, checking out uh, more details, I will definitely leave the article link below. Section number three it is the Upscale Lures News of the Month. And uh, after piling up prototype after prototype after prototype, um, I'm finally getting the uh, form factor of my <laughs> prototype lure dialed in here as I'll probably have it on the screen right here um, it, it's just it's it takes so much to put together a fishing lure you know you you change the form factor here and you're like how is that going to affect the action am I going to have to change the eyelet um, there's just so much that goes into it it's crazy but I think I finally got it dialed in um, I even have it slightly upgraded uh, from this version, um, but pretty similar. I wanted to make it a little bit more streamlined. I had it, I think, a little bit too bulky, and I think that was kind of giving it a weird action, but um, I think I got it pretty well uh, honed in right now, and I'm, I'm really liking that that style. Um, I'm sure it'll probably, it'll probably change 10 times more before I actually get this thing released. But it's, it's getting pretty close, and um, I'm pretty happy with it. Section number four is the catch of the month. Uh, this would be the very first fish pick that I posted on my Upscale Lures Instagram page. Uh, this was back in 2015, and I caught a uh, smaller bass on our Nifty 50 spinner. I'm pretty impressed that even the s smaller fish, um, I guess that's better than nothing, is uh, it's aggressive enough to uh, go after the Nifty 50 spinner, which is a pretty decently sized spinner. Pretty impressed that even a smaller fish uh, will go after such a, a a lure that's over looks like over half the size. So pretty cool. If you guys are interested in being featured on the next F3 show and the First Fishing Friday newsletter, uh, make sure to email us your fish picks at upscale lures at yahoo.com featured item of the month i freshly poured up some lemongrass uh brendan miller signature series spiked worms um for you guys that don't know uh me and brendan miller collaborated on this uh well we put it out last year but it's we definitely took some time to get this all put together he had the initial idea of the lure design and we kind of went back and forth uh tweaking it adjusting it until we got that thing nice and dialed in and uh, I've done great on it. Caught some very nice bass with it. Uh, Brendan Miller caught some big old pike on this thing. If, if you haven't seen his video, check that out. We can leave that link below. Um, but this thing is super versatile. You can put it on a bass jig, Texas rig it, drop shot it. Um, and then I'm trying to think, what did Brendan Miller, I think he puts it on, uh, Brendan would put it on a, a weighted jig. A weighted jig hook, I think, and he was having some good luck with that. I'll tell you my favorite way that I have found to rig this bait, and the way that I caught that really nice northern pike in the opening of the video is this. You take this bait and you rig it with a weighted belly swim bait hook. For some reason, when you rig this bait with a weighted belly swim bait hook and you fish it back, kind of like a soft plastic jerk bait, and you kind of pop it through the water with really short strokes, this bait has an amazing action in the water. I absolutely love how it looks. And I think going forward, that is going to be the primary way that I fish this bait. You can skip docks with it. You can just fish it out of there real, real slow. It looks amazing. It is a proven fish catcher. I've done great with this thing. Uh, if you guys would like to check it out, I will leave a link in the description below. Section number six, it is the survey of the month. Um, it is a uh, survey about the Guggen Squad. I'm just curious, like when you first when you first heard about them, uh, where have you seen most of their products at? Uh, so if you guys are interested in that, uh, super short, maybe take you two minutes. I will leave a link in the description uh, below so you guys can check that out. Wrapping it up here with section number seven. It is the lure giveaway of the month. If you want to be entered, it will be every single month. 
All you have to do is sign up for my first Fishing Friday newsletter. That will be the first link in the description below. And if your uh, email ends in D-E-W-W-W at gmail.com, I, always, I only put out the five digits, the last five digits of your email. I won't put out the whole thing. If that's you, uh, send us an email. Uh, contact me through Instagram and we will get that lure sent out to you ASAP. All right, guys, and that is the F3 show number 43, the first Fishing Friday newsletter that I turn into video format so I can put it on YouTube and share it with you guys. That is a fishing video compiled with more fishing videos stacked in with other fishing news. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys watched all the way to the end, that you guys are enjoying content like this. And if you have some, uh, the insider news uh, information about some news in your local town, make sure to let me know. Put that into the comments. Put that into the comments below so I could potentially use that on the next F3 show. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.